Hi, today uh, I'm going to create a bad pixel map using Pixel Insight. Um, it's a very simple process, but some people find it confusing. So what we need to do, we need a couple of things open on our screen. Um, we need our screen transfer function. So process, all processes, screen transfer function. We need our cosmetic correction tool. Same again, process, all processes, cosmetic correction. Just going to reset that. Um, we are going to use master dark, so ones you've already created. And this is only relevant really for Kodak chip cameras. Uh, I've tried it with Sony chip and because they're so quiet, there's no real gain. But for a Kodak chip, a definite gain. So click on our master dark and we find our master dark. Uh, we're going to use a 900 second master dark file. Enable the hot pixel threshold. Enable the cold pixel threshold. Now to enable us to find the level, we're going to use a light frame. So double click on the screen. Open our light frame. Stretch the light frame using our screen transfer function. Just an auto stretch. Zoom in on an area. One with a lot of hot pixels, which are the white ones. We can see lots of them here. Uh, and then make a preview of the zoom screen. Select the preview. Zoom in the preview. And we can see all the dodgy pixels. Fire up our real-time preview. And now we can work on it live. And the way we reduce the number of hot pixels is by reducing the sigma levels on the tool. So grab the slider, drag it to the left, and then if you watch your real-time preview, you'll gradually see the hot pixels disappearing. And pretty much nearly all gone, and we can get rid of a few more. And it's not just white pixels, you'd also see light grey ones disappearing. That's fine. I've done a bit of trial and error with this, and on this particular chip, it seems that the right number is around the 20,000 pixels rejected. Um, and I think the camera's got 9 million or so, or even 11 million or so. So 21,000 is not many. Uh, when we're happy, we've got rid of all our dodgy pixels. We can close our real-time preview. Um, we don't need the light frame anymore. We are going to save the process icon. So we just drag the triangle to the screen, drop, rename it, and we're going to call it Bad Pixel Map 900. And we've renamed it 900 because you need to do one of these for all of your master darks. So if you've got a 300, 600, 900, and 1200, or whatever you use, you need to do one of these maps for each one. Um, and then we're going to save it. OK. Now you need to save this somewhere. So we're going to right click, save selected icons. And I have a folder called Pixel Math Icons. Uh, and I keep all of my icons in there. So we're just going to rename our folder. Uh, and we're going to call it BPM900. Click Save. And then that's it. You've created your bad pixel map. What do you do with it? Well, let's find out. So we delete all the stuff on the screen. We're done with all this. And so now we're ready to do our batch pre-processing. Now, before you open the batch pre-processing tool, we need to find our icon, our bad pixel map, because once the tool is open, you can't do anything else on the screen. So right-click on the mouse, um, process icons, just hover, load process icons, and it will take you to your file. Double-click on our bad pixel map pops up on the screen and 
and then we can now load the script. So script, batch processing, batch pre-processing, and then once we've loaded all of our files, or before, it doesn't matter, our bias, darks, flats, lights, we are going to apply our cosmetic correction. So it's simply apply, um, install our bad pixel map 900, and we're done. So when we run the script, it will apply this to the calibration frames. That's it. That's how we make a bad pixel map in Pixinsight. Thanks for listening.